You know, about four months ago, I guess, there was a uh, string there for about three weeks where we lost uh, Diane Wilkinson. Uh, get uh, some of those cottage on right there. We, we lost Diane Wilkinson, and y'all have sung Diane Wilkinson songs in this church. Oh, you may not have even known that you have. And uh, Kyle Rowland, who I consider the greatest songwriter that's ever been in gospel music. And uh, matter of fact, the last time we were here, our lead singer, Adam Borden, his family was with him, including his wife, Angel. But uh, it's a brain that prayed to her, took her home. And uh, she's not here with us today. She was the last time. And it was a three-week period, just one right after the other. And uh, I'm telling you, I've been very, very burdened about uh, who's going to write songs like what, what you've just been hearing. Not that we're singing them well. I'm not saying that. I'm just talking about what the songs are saying. Right, yeah. Who in the world is going to step into those shoes? And uh, been very, very burdened about that. But uh, I am happy to say that in the last couple of months, the Lord has, just, has, has brought some folks by my way for whatever reason. I don't know why he's doing it to me or for me, but... Uh, they're writing some songs that's got the touch of God on them. And I'm, oh, I'm so thankful. Because if he doesn't come back, we're going to need some songs to help us get down the road of peace. And we're going to need preaching that'll, that'll get us down the road of peace and can still convict sinners. And we need some, we need some of the real deal stuff. And, uh, and I've been burdened about that. But uh, I think the Lord's... Uh, He's got a, a plan, <laughs> and yeah. I'm thankful for that. He's yeah. showing up and boy, bringing some people. It's just got the touch of God on it. I'm, I'm excited about that. But uh, we're going to sing a few kind of favorable songs. And uh, I hope these bless you right here. Yeah. 